Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Learn with Fun by Zarar Sir. Today we'll be discussing about a very important topic which is source transformation. So what do we do in source transformation? As you are already aware about, there are two types of sources. One we call it as a voltage source and another we call it as a current source. So there are two types of source, sources, voltage source and current source. First what we do is we'll convert voltage source to current source and then later on vice versa. So assume I have a voltage source over here. This is the voltage source that I have. Okay, let's try it properly. Okay, I have a voltage source over here. This is my voltage source V. And I have some resistance over here. I'll name it as R. So as you can see, voltage source is always series with resistance. Now, if I want to convert a voltage source into current source, I need to connect my resistance into parallel. So I'll connect the resistance in a parallel configuration. So this is my resistance, which is parallel. Now I'm trans transferring my or transforming my voltage into current source. So while transformation, when you make current source over here. Okay, now look, this is one important thing. Uh, where is this positive sign? If this positive sign is on the top, that means you have to make sure your current will move from lower end to a upper end, okay, or down to up approach. So you have to remember if your positive voltage is on the top side, your direction of the current is upward. If the positive voltage is uh, below, then your current direction will be from top to bottom. So I'll name it as I. Now my this I will be, since you are transforming your voltage source to current source, you must be aware about a basic formula, which is Ohm's law, which is nothing but V equal to I R. So my I will be V by R. So this I will be V by R. So this is source transformation. So you have converted a voltage source into current source. Make sure here the voltage and resistance are in series. Here the voltage is converted into current and which is parallel to resistor R. Let's take an example to understand it in a more practical way. I'll take it an example. I'll take resistance value to be as resistance like takes the resistance value as 5 ohm and my voltage as 10 volt. Okay, so to be precise, the resistance will be exactly same. So I'll get exactly same resistance over here, 5 ohm, but my current will be V by R, that is 10 by 5. So I will be 2 ampere. So this is the best example which you can understand. So it's a very basic thing voltage to current. Remember the fundamental. The voltage will be converted into current and series resistance will be converted into parallel resistance. So this is voltage to current transformation. Now let's move to another part, current to voltage. So how to understand current to voltage transformation? So let's take an example. So this is my current to voltage source transformation. So there are current source. There's a current source over here. I'm assigning the direction of the current source as upward. So this is my current source. And you are also aware I am taking a resistance in parallel with current source. Okay. Now you should be aware about we have already studied the current and the resistance are parallel. That means the voltage and the resistance will be in series. So this is my R in series with voltage. Okay. Which is V. Now how to calculate V? The basic formula. See R will be same. Whenever you do source transformation, the resistance will always be same, only there will be the change in the source. So I'll write V and you are aware about the basic Ohm law. So we'll write V is equal to IR. So this is the Ohm's law. Now let's take an example to understand this fundamental. I'll take resistance as 5 Ohm, resistance as 5 Ohm and current as 4 Ampere. Now, you are very clear with the resistance value will be same. My voltage will be 5 into 4, which is 20 volt. Since it is I into R. 
So it's a very simple con concept. Just remember the basics. The resistance will be always in parallel with current and the resistance will be always series with the voltage during the source transformation. The resistance value will not change. There will be only change in the source voltage, source values of voltage and current. Okay, that's it from my side. Hope you have understand the concept. Thank you. Please subscribe the channel, like the video, share with your friends and do comments in the comment section if you understand the concept or not. Okay, thank you everyone. Have a good day.